So, when Mrs. Long asked me to talk to you about our early childhood and lower school programs, it was very easy for me to say yes. In toddlers, we focus on separation, sharing, learning to play together, and take turns. Children learn to recognize their names and their friends' names. They listen to stories and talk about the characters. Playtime, circle time, and snack time are all part of their morning. In our nursery program, children continue to learn about routines. Playtime is also an important part of their day. They focus on thematic units throughout the year, and they are involved in activities related to reading, writing, math, and science within each unit. They are introduced to the Handwriting Without Tears program, and they learn about letters and sounds. They play outdoors every day, and they have music and story time each week. The nursery play group will resume next year and children will have the opportunity to attend afternoon sessions. Pre-K is our first full day program. Children attend school from 8.30 to 3 o'clock. We keep a balance of play and academics at this level also. Free choice time, center time, and activities around a specific theme are part of each pre-K child's day. There is more emphasis on literacy and math. They use the Investigations Math Program and the Foundations Program, which emphasizes letters and sounds. Pre-K children study Mandarin and Spanish throughout the year. They have PE, music, library, and yoga. Kindergarten through fourth grade, we begin the Teachers College Reading and Writing Program. This program is differentiated and provides for the reading and writing needs of each student. There is a unit of study for each month with a specific focus, for example, poetry or nonfiction. Each unit of study includes lessons, goals, student activities, and assessments. The Singapore Math Program, Math and Focus, is used in kindergarten through fourth grade. We implemented this program several years ago, and we have been very pleased with the progress our children are showing in mathematics. Perhaps what impresses us most is the ability that children now have to understand and think about what they are doing. They are really able to monitor and explain their thinking when solving mathematical problems. We have extensive classroom libraries where children can choose books on their own level to read. The books in our classroom libraries reflect our diverse student population. Teachers recently read a wonderful story called Eyes That Kiss at the Corners by Joanna Ho. This is a beautiful story about learning to love and appreciate differences and it was an opportunity for teachers to foster conversations about how special and unique each child is. Our children make amazing progress in reading and writing and truly become lifelong readers and writers.
We worked with experts from Columbia Teachers College to learn about the latest research in the teaching of social studies. We developed four rigorous units at each grade level, kindergarten through fourth grade. Our social studies curriculum is now more inquiry-based and includes opportunities for students to be involved in research and to work collaboratively using their reading and writing skills. The special classes that children attend each day supplement and enhance their academic program. They include physical education, language, Mandarin or Spanish, art, music, library technology, and science. Social and emotional learning are also a very important part of our early childhood and lower school curriculum. Teachers worked with specialists from the Institute for Social and Emotional Learning to develop their ability to build more empathy and humanity into their lessons. Through stories and activities, children are taught how to express and deal with their feelings, solve conflicts, and help one another. So I hope this has given you a snapshot into our early childhood and lower school programs. They are rigorous, differentiated, developmentally appropriate, and most of all, fun for our children. First and foremost, welcome to our We Are Buckley event. We're so excited to have you join us this evening, spend some time in, in fellowship and community with us. Uh, so thank you so much for, uh, for being a part of our special event this evening. Buckley's a wonderful, magical school. It's really an amazing place. The size of the school is what really caught my attention at first, and uh, you can really see it manifest itself in uh, the relationships that the students have with one another. They're very deep and meaningful at their age, but also the relationships that the students have with the adults on campus, uh, their advisors, their teachers. Uh, it's really a wonderful community and, and a student-centered school that's based on those relationships. We do a lot of really fun stuff in the upper school. It's an exciting time of growth and change and mat maturation. While we have a very strong academic program at Buckley, the non-academic curriculum is equally strong. We do a lot of social emotional learning with students. We talk to them about this stage in their life very directly. We do a lot of that through our advisory program and our health curriculum. Um, we're all very excited to have our counselor come next year. Uh, um, and, and to have Justin join us as well for that piece of our, uh, our program. We really believe that it's not just about math and reading, but about all these other aspects that are going on in child's lives. We want them to, in order to be successful, to be able to thrive and, and really be um, outstanding young people in, in all facets of their lives, not just academics.
Being here at Buckley, it reminds me every day about how diverse and, and beautiful uh, our world and our planet is. And so for me to be able to serve a community of students and parents that's really a microcosm of our world is a really big uh, opportunity and it's something that really is exciting for me uh, to be able to do every day. You know, we try to build community in lots of different ways. Uh, just this past week, we had an advisory exercise uh, with the, uh, combined with 5th and 6th and 7th and 8th where um, we're talking about identity and what makes us uh, unique and individuals. And uh, we had the students uh, line up and write on the back of one another different characteristics and positive traits that they found in their classmates. And it was a really fun exercise in that students um, at the conclusion got to take their sheet of paper off their back and take a look at it and they had all these wonderful nice things written about them by their friends and classmates and oftentimes they weren't even sure who wrote it. They took all that, uh, the different things that they'd written up about their identity and their family along with these other characteristics and they created their own personal word cloud that we want them to look at and go back to uh, just to remind them how unique and special they are uh, as young adults. At Buckley, we've got a lot to celebrate. Our passions. Our cultures. Our achievements. Our families. Our teams. Our heritage. Our identities. It's not just what we take with us after graduation. It's what we bring with us every day. To the classroom. To the stage. To the field! Together, we're stronger. And braver. We are smarter. And faster! I am. I am. I am. I am. An artist. An athlete. A writer. A drummer. I am. I am. A raw email. I am. I am. Guyanese American. Haitian American. Ellie Nash. Haitian American. West Indian and African American. I am. I am. I am. I am. A cellist. A scientist. A dancer. A gamer. I am. I am. I am. I am. Confident. Kind. Proud. Blessed. Together. We. We. Are. Are. Buckley.